Hi, Andre. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in and have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, you're looking to be a franchise owner. I am indeed. Excellent. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of history about our company. Sure. In case you, you know, haven't been, you know, researched it a lot. Uh, Jimmy John uh, Lautar, he uh, started this company, founded it in 1983. Uh, he started with a small business. He only paid $200 rent for his first uh, place. Yeah, his first place that he had. And he started with a refrigerator, a chest freezer. Um, he had a meat cutter, and uh, he started it up. And he didn't even have to sell drinks with ice uh, because there wasn't any money in the budget for that. So he started it up. He was in a college town, and things were hard at first. So what he did was he hit the streets, and he gave away sandwiches along with menus and the cost. And uh, you know, he was an uh, entrepreneur, a very young man, and really, you know, a go-getter. And so he went out there and he did this. And uh, the college kids, you know, loved his irreverent yeah. attitude, you know. And um, and they, they loved the prices that they saw. And because he delivered, you know, that was a plus for college students. So he did start, um, start the business and uh, it picked up rather quickly. Um, the culture uh, is driven by... Uh, the golden rule, you make a deal, you keep the deal. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, really, he, we're looking for the best of the best. Um, so we're looking for people who are really, you know, go-getters and, and, you know, excellent self-starters. Um, I don't know how much you know about the resources that you'll need to start the company. But to start up, you will need resources of $80,000. You're going to have to have a network of $300,000. Right. And then you'll need to secure uh, your financing through a third party lender. Right. Okay. Um, so tell me, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm uh, actually pretty young. I'm 26. I actually graduated with my MBA last year. Uh, so I've only been on college for a little bit. Um, I actually, one of my very first job was at Jimmy John's. I was a delivery driver. Oh, good. Yeah, it was, it was kind of the, I feel like it was the job that really taught me the skills I needed to, to achieve my college degree and to, to work throughout. Um, so that's why I ended up coming back full circle, because um, I feel like if I could pass that on, that would be enough for me. I would really like a Jimmy John's franchise to be the first place that I get my toes wet, so to speak. Excellent. That sounds good. Well, good. And then you're familiar with our products and uh, how everything is run. You uh, know that all of our bread is, you know, it's an award-winning recipe. It's Every, amazing. Yeah. It's <laughs> and, and all of the meats and vegetables are chopped daily, fresh, in store. Um, okay, so um, have you had any, you haven't had any other business ventures since you said this will be your, get, get your feet wet? No, actually, in, the, in my uh, senior year of college, I had a relative who passed away. And, you know, it, it, it's fine. And I, things went as well as they could, but I ended up inheriting a little bit of money. So that actually creates a little bit of capital for me to, it, it gives me an, quite a bit of an advantage, as you can probably tell. So. And you, do you have references that you can submit? Um, I do. I have a couple of professors. Uh, I did very well in all my classes, uh, pretty much near the top. Not quite up there, but uh, as far as I could. Absolutely. Great. That sounds great. Um, and what do you think the best thing about you uh, that you will be bringing to the company? It definitely is that, that sense of legacy and history that I have with the company. Um, I really feel as if you know, the Jimmy John slogan is freaky fast delivery, you know, and, right. and as a delivery driver, I really tried to do the best I could because being good at my job directly resulted in better tips, my manager enjoyed better sales, then I enjoyed the better pay raise that went with it, and, I, and so that's a, that's a fundamental lesson I learned very early on, and so I believe in doing a perfect job very quickly, and I think that will serve me just as well as being an owner as just a ranked delivery driver. Okay, great. And um, why do you want to franchise at Jimmy John's? Well, uh, my first manager had a very large impact on me. He did very good business. Uh, the, the man he worked for, the, the, the franchisor who he worked for, of course, he owned all the 
the franchises in the city. He was very successful and all he owned were Jimmy John's. Mm -hmm. And that told me something, that uh, something about the company and the way that it runs and how easy it is for one person if they ha can work hard enough, that's all you'll ever need. All you'll ever need ever is Jimmy John's. All right, and why do you think you'd make a good franchise operator? Because of the lessons that Jim John's taught me itself. It really is that hustle. It's, it's all it comes down to. It comes down to doing a great job, doing it right the first time, and doing it fast. And um, Andre, do you have any questions for me today? Uh, my only question was that the only uh, bit of research I couldn't find on your website was the annual gross sum. It seemed that on, on one page it said it was in the range of stores made something like 1.2 million gross sales, and then another one said it was more like 800,000. So which one would you say is more accurate? Um, I'm going to say probably when you're first starting out, probably it's going to be more in the 800,000. Uh, starting out. It also depends on the size of the business that you're opening and the area that you're opening in. Right. Uh, you know, it could, it could, you know, by far surpass that amount. But uh, I would say probably, you know, your first year and getting your name out there, letting people know where you are and that you're there, you know, until, you know, you, your second year usually is when it really jumps up, you know, the, the one million mark. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to know? No, I think I'm set. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, I do have your application for the franchise. I also uh, have your information for your background check. As we, right. you know, you're aware, we'll run that. What we'll need you to do is be able to pro provide proof of your resources. Uh, you'll need to provide proof of your net worth, of and um, and then you know to start trying to secure your financing and then we can take off from there. All right, I'll have the bank uh, email those over as soon as possible. That would be wonderful. Well, thank you for coming in today. I really appreciate it, and we look forward to having you as a part of Jimmy John's as a franchise owner. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You have a great day.